Ang kutsok. President, please be seated. Ang The chamber is now back in session. And again, the floor is given to the deputy co-prosecutor to continue putting further questions to the witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. So uh, earlier today, you told us um, that you were aware of Loei occasionally going to Phnom Penh. Are you able to say how often that happened? It varied. Réponse. Sometimes he would uh, go uh, three times in a month. Sometimes only mois. for uh, one time fois, in a month. That's when I worked uh, close to him. That is during the, the time that I cooked for the guest. And when I was uh, reassigned to work uh, in the rice fields, I no longer knew about his trips uh, down to Phnom Penh. And can you tell us uh, when were you cooking for guests? What period was that? That was in that was during nineteen seventy six and that continued until late nineteen seventy seven when I was uh, reassigned. So in nineteen seventy six I worked at the uh, Puyantong Airport, then in late 1977, I went to Kampong Chenang for one week to marry my husband, and then I returned to back to Puyantong Airport, and this is the period they knew about uh, his trip to, to Phnom Penh. So during that period, was uh, Luay one, one of the people you were cooking for? Vous faisiez la cuisine. No, he did not uh, have meal with uh, the non, guest. However, he had he ate uh, his own meal, which was prepared by his uh, messengers. So can you tell us uh, who the guests were that you were cooking for? Pourriez-vous nous dire quels étaient les invités pour lesquels vous cuisiniez alors? The guests were Chinese. Il s'agissait d'invités chinois. All of them were Chinese. Ils étaient tous chinois. And I think you also indicated earlier um, when discussing Loe's trip to Phnom Penh that you assumed or believed that that was to get instructions from Me. Can you tell us why you believed that he was getting instructions from Me when he went to Phnom Penh? That was my personal conclusion that he, he wants to receive instructions from his uh, superior in Phnom Penh. But I did not know the details about the matter. It was my personal uh, conclusion anyway. And during the period when you were cooking for these Chinese guests, would they be eating alongside uh, 
non-Chinese staff members, leaders, uh, Khmer people from the work site. No. It did not uh, happen that way. The food was prepared for the Chinese. As for the Khmer people, the, the food was prepared separately by another group of uh, cook and kitchen staff. Here I uh, refer to those uh, workers who engaged in transporting salt for building the airport. Uh, the, kitchen was the kitchen was separate from the one that uh, was repaired for the Chinese. And where, where was the kitchen for the, the Chinese? What, what building or structure? In Kampung uh, Chenang, that is in Jan Siri Barak, uh, the house was located to the east of the uh, existing airport. It, the, the house was built, uh, was concrete on the lower floor, and the uh, top floor was built from wood. And during the time you were there cooking for the Chinese, uh, were you ever able to overhear any conversations either among the Khmer speaking leaders of the airport work site or con conversations between the Chinese and the, the Khmer speaking leaders of the airport? No, I did not uh, pay such attention or non, try to overhear their uh, conversations. I was busy doing my own work. Déjà à faire mon and I did not try to listen what they were saying Je at the time. You indicated earlier that you would sometimes be close enough to the workers to see what they were doing, and I think you may have also indicated that you sometimes even uh, crossed the, the airport runway. At those times, did you see uh, armed men guarding the site or guarding the workers? No, there was no uh, guard at that time. There were only uh, people who worked in their respective uh, units, but there were no guards. During your time at the airport work site, did you ever see or learn about any workers committing suicide? I heard about a, a rock transportation vehicle driver who said that uh, youth workers uh, actually ran into the tracks and that he couldn't break on time and killed the person. Did he say that happened one time or many times? I only heard him uh, 
speaking about that for one time. Je ne l'ai entendu dire cela qu'une fois. That he was driving his truck and the truck actually ran into the truck and he couldn't break on time and killed the worker. And that's all I heard about it and I was rather afraid to hear that. And just to be clear, was he... Did the driver who told you about this, did he believe it was an accident from the perspective of the worker who was killed, or did he believe it was an intentional act on the part of the worker who was killed? From what uh, people said, uh, that person actually ran into the vehicle. Avait couru vers le véhicule. C'était jeté sous les roues du véhicule. So I, I just asked you about suicides. Uh, are you aware of any intentional killings that took place at the Kampong uh, Chenong Airport worksite? Des exécutions intentionnelles ou un meurtre intentionnel sur le site. There was another person at uh, Krang Liu who jumped out of the vehicle and killed himself. And what about situations in, not in which a person killed himself, but in which one person killed another person intentionally? Situations dans lesquelles une personne tuait intentionnellement une autre personne. No. Réponse: Non. During your time at the Kampong Chenong Airport worksite, were you free to leave if you wanted to leave? Besides the work that we had to do during the daytime, we had to sleep during the night. We had no free time to move around. We were always busy doing our work. I, my question wasn't whether you were free to leave for a short period of time and come back. Uh, my question was whether you were free to quit your job there, to leave, to go home, and never come back. Was that a possibility for you during that time? No. I never went anywhere beyond the unit that I was assigned to. I myself was very well aware of uh, my safety. I knew that I had to be vigilant concerning my movement since my husband had already been arrested. And can you just tell us a little bit more about that? Why did you have to be vigilant about your movements because your husband had been arrested? At that time, what I heard during the meetings that if any worker who was liberal and didn't adhere to the instructions, that person would be removed. 
And upon hearing that, I was rather cela, concerned and I had to be very vigilant. Et fait très and what did it mean to question. say that someone would be removed? Qu'est-ce que cela voulait dire que quand quelqu'un était enlevé? Réponse. It was my uh, thought that if I was not uh, vigilant enough, and je if any si vigilant, one knew about it or my subordinate, vigilant, rather my si superior knew about it, uh, reports the matter si to the upper echelon, then I would be in a risky situation. For that reason, I had to be vigilant. I'd like to ask you now about uh, visits of leaders Question. to the Kampong Chenong Airport work site. Are you aware of any senior leaders visiting the work site? During the later part of the year, when the airport site was almost completed, I knew that Kyu Sumpong and his colleagues, whom I did not know, together with the leadership from 502, who accompanied them, to the work site, but I must say I cannot recall the date of his visit. I only knew that he came to inspect the airport work site. And can you describe that event for us as best you remember it? Um, how he was dressed, who he came with, what vehicles he came with, what he did, what he saw, what he said, any of those details that you can remember. I did not see him in person, I only knew that he came to the work site. For that reason, I cannot tell you the details of how he dressed or which vehicle he was in, as I did not witness it. But I can say, I can tell you that I knew that he made his visit to the work site. And how did you know that he had come to visit the work site? How did you learn that? Comment saviez-vous? At that time, my friends who were at the work site uh, visited me and told me that the senior leaders uh, came to inspect the website. Did they mention the name of uh, Q Sampan specifically? Yes. The name was mentioned. At the time, uh, Kilsimporn was uh, known as Om Kilsimporn or Uncle Kilsimporn. And besides the fact of his visit, did your friends from the work site tell you any other details about the visit? Besides the fact that he came to visit, did your friends from the site tell you any other details about the visit? Did your friends from the site tell you any other details about the visit? No, uh, she did not give further details. I only know what detail. I have told you. You mentioned uh, that the, the leadership of 502 was connected with that visit. Can you tell us specifically who you're referring to as the leadership of 502? 
qui entendez-vous exactement lorsque vous dites les chefs ou les dirigeants de la 502 The leadership included the Levay. Il y avait Levay parmi les dirigeants. Il y avait Tour. Question. And in what way were they connected to Kyusan Pan's visit? Quoi avait-il un rapport avec la visite de Kyusan Pan? I do not know the details regarding this matter. I only knew that uh, they uh, went to the work site. Uh, that's what my friend told me. Other than Q Sampan, do you recall the visits of any other leaders to the work site? En visite. I do not know those people. However, I saw a convoy or vehicle coming to the work site from Phnom Penh uh, direction, and I do not know who those uh, people were, or what their names were. I'd like to just ask you about one question, uh, one, one sentence in your statement uh, from my page 0030-4366. English 0031-5915 and French 0037-5493. And on, on that page, you, you just say, I saw Tamok come to inspect once in late 1977. Is that something you remember or something that you don't remember? Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Uh, yes, in fact, uh, Tamok uh, also went along. Effectivement, Tamok lui aussi. Was that part of the, the same visit uh, of Kyu Sampan or was that on a separate occasion? Que celle de Kyu Sampan ou était-ce à une autre occasion? He went along with the delegation at that time. Okay. Uh, Ms. Kinvot, thank you for answering my questions. Mr. President, I'll hand the floor over now to my colleague for the civil parties. And the lead co lawyers for civil parties, you may proceed. Um, good afternoon, Mr. President. I'd like to seek the Chamber's permission for my lawyer for civil party, Van Pell, to put the questions to this witness. President, yes, uh, the Chamber grants your request and Van Pell, you may proceed. Lawyer for civil party, thank you. Mr. President, and Merci good afternoon, Mr. Mr. President, Jonas, and everyone in and around the courtroom. And hello, Madam Witness. My name is Wayne Pe. I'm a lawyer for civil parties. I only have some additional uh, questions uh, to put to you. You have uh, told the court that you joined the Military since 1970. Did you become a member of the Communist Party of Cambodia? Answer. 
At that time, I did not know anything réponse. about the party. À cette époque-là, j'ignorais tout du parti. However, I had Cependant, a role to play un rôle à jouer within it. En son sein. Council, thank you. You said that you were sent by the Khmer Rouge to work at the airport uh, site in Kampong Chnang. And before that, did you ever go to the Airport in Kampong Chenang while you were still working at Lorsque the airport at the Pochentong Airport. À l'aéroport de Pochentong, vous étiez-vous jamais rendu sur le site de l'aéroport de Kampong Chenang, uh, président? Witness, please observe the Monsieur microphone. Le témoin, Madame le témoin, veuillez attendre que le microphone soit allumé. Answer. I actually went to Kampong Chenang to marry my husband and I spent only a week there. I then returned to my workplace at Pochentong Airport. Question. Question. Before you were sent to work uh, in Kampong Chenang in 1977, you did not actually go with a Chinese uh, working group into the airport work site, and that you only went to Kampong Chenang to marry your husband. Is my understanding correct? Answer. I only went to marry my husband and I only spent a week there then I returned to my uh, workplace. Council, Mr. President, I'd like Donc, to Monsieur read her, her extract from document E3-5284, and the document in Khmer is 00304365, and in English, 00315914, and in French, 00375492. In her statement, she says that while Elle I was working at the Pugetong Airport, I went with the Chinese team to the Kampong Chenang Airport, and they made the trip there frequently, probably three times per month. And Madame Witness, does that refresh your memory? President uh, Witness, please Président observe the microphone. Madame de témoin, veuillez attendre que le microphone soit allumé. Answer. I did not Réponse. go with the Chinese team. I went to Kampong Chenang at that point in time chinoise. to marry my husband, and I spent only one week there, then I returned to Pochentong. And after my husband was removed, I returned to work in a rice field in Kampong Chenang, and that happened in late 77. Council, thank you. And concerning uh, your work, that uh, you were sent uh, to work at the uh, Pujantong Airport work site in late 77, says the council, after the arrest of your husband. My question to you is the following. Were you forced to go and work at uh, that uh, airport work site? Could you refuse to go? Answer.
after I got married with my husband and after I spent a week there, après I returned avoir épousé mon mari et après and I had to return semaine, because revenue. that je was the instruction. So I separated from my newly wed husband and returned to Pukintong. I could not uh, refuse since uh, I had to adhere to that instruction. Je devais respecter l'instruction. Question. And when Question. you were assigned to work at the work site, that is, uh, to work at the rice field around the, the vicinity of the airport, were you given any uh, proper accommodation, that is, to sleep in? When I was uh, reassigned uh, to return, I stayed at an old existing house to the north of a Pratit Pagoda, and the house was uh, vacant, and that part, uh, that house belonged to a local cooperative there. So all workers who worked in the rice field uh, stayed in that part. Question, and how many workers actually stayed in that house together with you? Answer. In my unit, there were about 90 members. Mon unité était and we was in the secondary uh, labor group that we were assigned to work in the rice field. Deux, so some of us are uh, actually slept visière, uh, in the house nous or dans la maison, on the ground uh, nearby. It. Voire, and uh, we were assigned to live terre, and stay in that uh, cooperative uh, near Petit Pagoda. Question. Mats, sleeping mats, I mean, and mosquito nets uh, distributed to your group. Answer, yes, we were given with mosquito nets, white mosquito nets. No blankets were provided to us. We received only mosquito nets, but not the blankets. Long pay looks like question while you were working did they ask you to make biography? Alors que vous travaillez, vous attend demander de rédiger votre biographie? Answer no. Réponse non. I was reassigned to lived and worked at that place and my biography was not asked for. I was there to do the rice farming and it was almost the, the time that uh, rice was going to be harvested that I made an escape because uh, at the time Vietnam went into the country. Question. Was your Question. unit chief male or female? Was he or she from the same uh, division 502? Answer. I do not know his or her Réponse. biography. Je ne this pas les de sa chief biographie came from Phnom Penh. He was uh, reassigned to, to work at that place from Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Il a été he was male chief. Un homme. Question. Did he remain Question. your unit chief until 1979 when the regime failed? Regime? Answer. Upon my arrival, Réponse. As I told the court already, I was Comme there for a brief a period of time, je suis arrivée, perhaps je six months, suis restée que peu when de temps, the rice mois, was not yet harvested. 
pas encore été récolté. That sheep uh, made an escape with me or fled the area with me at Et that time when uh, the Vietnamese troops came in to the country. I did whatever they told me to do. Moi, After I had received uh, the the plan or instruction, I uh, would go to work. Council, thank you. I have another question for merci. you. You have stated about hard labor. That is, the explosive was uh, installed to blast the rock pour, in the mountain. Uh, Did pour le roche workers who were in charge of blasting the rock Donc, get injured? Qui devaient, uh, les roches, uh, en employant les moyens explosifs, Answer. When the, the rock was blasted by the explosive, we could hear the loud sound. Roches, uh, En employant des explosifs, I uh, do not know about the injury fort, happening to the worker in charge of blasting the rock. I heard only the noise. Council, thank you. I would like to ask merci. you about the marriage. You stated that uh, you married your husband in Kampong Chnam, Chnam province. Was the marriage voluntary? C'était un mariage volontaire. Answer: I was Réponse. forced to get married. I was told that it, is, it was marier. time for me to marry my husband. If I refused the marriage, si Anka marier, would not be responsible lui, for my refusal. I did not refuse at the time. I had to go to Kampong Chnang and marry my husband. I was alone at the time. I did not. I had not known my husband before. I did not have the courage to speak to my husband at that time. My husband advised me after the marriage that if. Après notre I mariage, did not love him, just said nothing. Dit, if I told other people si that pas, I did not love dire, him, I si would risk, risk my life. Mari, there were people conducted, uh, conducting uh, surveillance after we got married. Après notre mariage, so nous I had to bear the situation after the marriage. I felt après mon mariage. very sorry for my husband as well. Cela it was very unfortunate for me at that time that I was aussi. forced to marry my husband. Et my parents did not attend the marriage, marriage ceremony at that time. What a pity for me. Council, do you recall how many couples were getting married at that time? Combien de couples se mariaient? Answer, there was only one couple, Réponse, that is me and my husband. The marriage was held in the provincial town Le hall. I, my husband and I was instructed to make resolution and to adhere to the party principle. My husband, my husband and I were instructed to make a resolution at that time. Council. Avant, uh, reçu so, in conclusion, de nous your marriage was not consensual. Is that Donc, correct? On peut conclure que ce n'était pas un mariage. Answer: consensual. Yes, that is correct. Réponse: Oui, c'est exact. It is true what you have just said. C'est vrai. Council. 
Thank you. My last question for you. Merci. Une dernière question. I would like to seek your clarification. Je vais you vous have already responded to the question put by the deputy co-prosecutor about the visit of Kyo Sampan while you were working at the place. Did you la know what position Kyo Sampan held at that time? Did anyone tell you about his position? Quel rang occupait Kyo Sampan? Est-ce que quelqu'un vous en a parlé? My unit chiefs told me that he was the second homme or second uncle. That is what I know. I have no idea what he, his responsibility were at that time. What I know is that he was the second uncle or homme de pire. Counsel, thank you. What about Tamok? Or what was Tamok's position at that time? Quelle était la fonction de Tamok à cette époque Answer. Back then, Réponse. He had a supervisory role in Southwest Zone in terms of military. Jouait un rôle de Later on, I dirigeant. Did not know de la zone what re his responsibilities were. Mais I never suite, saw him personally. I only heard Je of ai jamais vu directement. his name. Ai simplement entendu Counsel, parler. thank you, Madame Witness. Mr. President, that concludes my line Monsieur of questioning. President, President, thank you very much. Now the floor is beaucoup. given. Wait, please wait. Uh, the Judge Lavenge, uh, you have the floor first. Oui, je suppose que les avocats pour les civils ont fini leur interrogatoire. J'aimerais personnellement, j'aimerais personnellement deux questions que j'ai à poser aux témoins. La première, madame, est-ce que vous pourriez nous indiquer quel, quel était le nom complet de votre mari First, si vous en souvenez, vous avez dit tout à l'heure qu'il s'appelait Lao, mais est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner son nom complet Mais pouvez vous donner son nom complet Witness, I do not recall his surname. Je I only recall his first name, Je me Lao. Simplement de son prénom, his Lao. origin was Kanda province. Il de la I do not uh, recall the village, his Je birth village. Pas du village où il est né. He was handicapped. Il était handicapé. Est-ce qu'il faisait partie de la division 502 Was he in division 502 yeah, Answer. No, he was not non. under 502. Il ne faisait pas he partie belonged de la 502. to division 1-1. Il faisait one, partie one. de la division 11. Je voudrais maintenant vous poser une question par rapport à ce que vous avez I'd pu like voir lorsque vous travailliez à Pochentong. Vous nous avez dit que vous avez euh, travaillé dans les cuisines pour les invités chinois. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner une idée du nombre de personnes qui étaient euh, parmi ces invités chinois et quelles étaient exactement leurs fonctions. I noticed the presence of uh, the Chinese. I do not know how many of them J'ignore combien ils étaient à l'aéroport de Pochentong. Je cuisinais pour des Chinois. 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 Ils apprenaient également aux Khmer Rouge à réparer les avions et les hélicoptères. 
et à utiliser des radars. This is what I can recall. As for ce dont je me souviens, the of the Chinese, I, uh, do not je ne know saurais pas vous dire combien de Chinois il y avait à l'aéroport. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez, lorsque vous étiez à Pochantong, d'avoir vu des délégations chinoises ou des délégations étrangères de représentants d'États étrangers venir à Pochantong Most of the time, I noticed that there were la Chinese du temps, observé la présence de Chinois and uh, Vietnamese. Et de Vietnamiens. And some were Burmese. Parfois des Birmans. That is what I know. C'est ce que je sais. Donc ces Vietnamiens ou ces Birmans, c'était so des techniciens ou c'était des gens qui venaient en délégation C'était des responsables, des diplomates Est-ce que vous avez des précisions Est-ce que vous savez un, vous en savez un petit peu plus help us on that subject? Yum. Answer. From my knowledge, perhaps they ma may have been in the diplomatic, diplomatic roles representing their des countries. Qui uh, they were not leur pays. Uh, technicians Ce from pas my des recollection. Uh, Est-ce que vous avez été amené à participer à des grandes réceptions pour l'accueil de représentants étrangers ou pour l'accueil de personnalités cambodgiennes qui revenaient au pays. Back then, I knew that the late king came back into the country. J'étais au courant du retour euh, du roi au pays. I do not know anything else besides this à fact because cela, I was a cook. Euh, je ne suis au courant de rien. J'étais cuisinière. Je travaillais dans la cuisine simplement. Je vous remercie beaucoup, madame. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions. Thank you very much, madam. I haven't got any more questions for you. Thank you. Bah, oh, Kun. Bah, I... Thank you. Le président, je vous remercie. It is now convenient time for the adjournment. Il est temps de lever l'audience. The adjourn is hearing now, and uh, it will resume Et the hearing tomorrow. Nous reprendrons demain. 30th of July of 2015 at 9 a.m. and the chamber will continue hearing Kinvat. After which we will hear two TCW 926 in relation to the first January dam work site. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Kinvat. The hearing of your testimony as a witness. Has not come to a conclusion yet. You are therefore invited terminé. to be here again tomorrow at 9 a.m. You may be accused. Court officer with Wesu unit. En collaboration avec l'unité d'appui aux témoins. Send this uh, witness back to the place where she is uh, staying Veuillez, at the moment, uh, and uh, please invite her back into the courtroom tomorrow at 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring Mr. Nunchi and Kyosun Pong back to ECCC detention facility, and uh, please have them return tomorrow at 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.